TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live recorded on the 16th of February 2021. Thank you to Sheriff Nate Harmon and the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. To all of our fans in Italy, we would like to say grazie. This episode will feature a commercial security alarm, an investigation into fraud, a dispute, residential security check, a traffic stop, a residential disturbance, and shoplifting. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Verizon Wireless Fraud Investigation. I'm not allowed to film inside the store, so we will get a recap of what's going on when he is done. Any good progress on the fraud investigation there? Or? No. It is a passing lane. Pet peeve. This is a pet peeve of mine. Hey, I, I, I like it. It's a pet peeve of mine as well. <laughs> 152, we're placing a line team. 152, go ahead. This is going to be 19.7 mile marker. 81 northbound. Maryland 27, 28. 10 4, go ahead. Okie dokie. I almost got hit on the interstate, so I don't want to be out here too long. That was last week. I know they may be going over the speed limit, but the keeping traffic flowing is safer for everybody than somebody's having everybody backed up driving in the left lane. It's, it's only for passing, all right? All right. All right, man, you're free to go. Drive safe. Copy 152. Wall 52, same traffic. Copy 152. Yeah, we
in your garage with a hearse makes you feel like, you feel like I'm the size of the land. Is he over there? Um, no. He lives five houses up. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if he's still home or not. They've been calling and texting us and I'm not answering because we called 911. Um, okay. He called him and said he was going to kill him. Mm -hmm. um, he said he was going to come take the truck because we just bought that from him. We um, traded. Right. The deal was I had a 97 Acura Integra and they had a, the motor was messed up a little bit. That had a blown rear. So we traded yeah. even up. He said, I tell you what, you trade me even up right now, you got a deal. Um, okay. I said, all right, that's fine. Done. The title is signed. He signed the title. I gave him the Integra. Mm -hmm. He got rid of the Integra for another city now. So now, if y'all do go look for it, he's not going to have it because he already got rid of it. That part, that part's going to be civil. All right, let's. He let's does have it. stuff in there that no, he wants. Oh, he doesn't. That, that part's going to be civil. Okay. Um, you have documentation of threats and stuff like that he's made. I have he's my text messages. I, right, do have, uh, I went to the courthouse today. Uh, for they, haven't been, they haven't been served yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that might take a minute. He's, so, with, he's with the local media. It's okay, so that's the guy that's threatening us tonight. This is the guy that was here last night. Okay. First, it all started because I took my truck down to the end of the lane, uh, checked the mail, came back up. Mm -hmm. And his mother in law said I came past his house grabbing the. And he called me, started running his mouth. Right, I said, dude, don't bother off. me. I'm, I don't want no me. contact. So I texted him. I said, you know what? Don't contact me. I'm having papers served on you. I started that one and went down. You can read them. His phone's a little broken. And it's all right. Then he started running his mouth and saying, oh, don't, don't forget, that's my truck. It's still my right name. Now, so let me go up here. Saying that the cops ran the van last night and they come back to him, which no cops never checked that oh, truck. Okay. It was parked all night. It hasn't moved. His dad works oh. for the sheriff's department, so. Okay. Right. Who's his dad? Uh, what's his dad's name? Alan. Alan. He's, in, he's for, um, he works in the courthouse, a and he Marshall. does. I ain't sheriff. He, he does um, <laughs> He just said that his dad stuff. works for the sheriff's department, so um, I was like. Brittany got herself out of the truck. All right. So we dropped it off. He got all this stuff now, so there's nothing in that truck that belongs to him anymore. All right. I can't do anything about that anyway. That's all civil. Okay. Yeah. So when you guys make an agreement on stuff like that, um, I'm not seeing anything in here that. It was the last message because he called me and threatened me, and I, and I yeah, said, "Wow, he called and threatened me." Okay. But How many times has he called? 
He blow my phone up. You know, I should go back here. I yeah, but the amount of times matters. They called me too. I don't know when. They called. I'm sorry. No, you're all right. Once there. There's three times there I missed. There's another one. They only called me twice. I called me six, five times. Okay. Six times. So I don't have enough for. A re it's, there's not a re uh, enough here for me to charge him with the threat, sir. Something like that. Did he display a firearm or anything like that and make no. threats with a firearm? Yeah, he I said he has a gun. Has okay, saying say and displaying and using yeah. a threat. I haven't seen him. I was here. Matter or posture are two different things. I can only go after him once he uses posture. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want to call him every so y'all know what's going on in hey, case he came here. Can you just uh, have a talk with him and tell him please stay away from here? You know, state police talked to him at all last night. They did. did they? And they told. Yeah, I don't think they talked to Lee. They talked to Colby, right? Oh no, they hey, didn't. I'm sorry. Has no. he come out? Has no. he come on your property at all tonight? No, he had. No. He said he was coming here. He said, "Don't, don't, night, don't think I'm not coming there to blow your brains out. I ain't scared of you." Uh, I just did with everything with his buddy Colby, where he tried to run them over last night. My grandson is scared enough. This I is had Lane. to take him out of uh, daycare this morning. Ask you is that all? His main address is 284 Perry Drive, but he lives three, five trailers down. He's the third one on the left when you come in. You know the numerics, the number, the house number? I don't. Um, no, there's a, a burgundy Drango there sitting in the yard. Yeah, it's not helping on. I'm scared. It's, Can I get your IDs? Because I don't mm -hmm. have any documentation at him. So I'm going to need that for that. I just, I messed up when I didn't report mm -hmm. Colby coming here multiple times. That's what they told me at the courthouse today. Mm -hmm. um, when we'll play for two and then he tried to run me over last night. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know the ins and outs of uh, oh, okay. how the trespassing process works or gets served. I haven't been through it. Okay. Um, I'm much more familiar with PPOs and uh, FPOs, Family Protection Order. Right. I know how those work. Right. Um, I don't get a lot of those. Most people don't fall through and go with those. So I you're am. actually, Misty. I have to I'm just done you've actually done either. more than most. Most people, we tell about the trespass paperwork the and they don't go through with it. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice if they did because then it gives us um, probable yeah. cause when they violate that um, to arrest them and take them to jail. Right. Now, since I've read this, do I need to put signs up? Signs. No, if he served with it, no. Uh, I have signs anyway, just in case. Signs are sign. There's they're pretty strict on that. It's almost like the threats claim. You have to have them placed with a certain amount of feet separated every so often. All that. Do you know oh. the regulations on that? Huh? You have signs. I went and bought some today. You can well, look, you can look it up. It's open. like okay. it's like every square foot. You have to have a sign okay. for it to come into effect. Okay. Um, I bought five of them. I would, so. I'm so, I wouldn't worry about it. That's okay. enough. Right. That's 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 Perfect. enough. I used I just, to be friends with them, and I had enough of them. Good. Interesting warrants are negative on both subjects. Ten four, are they both attached? Ten four, it's all attached. Ten four, thank you. I'm tired of having to worry about my safety at home or in public, and my son's safety. You guys have to ask Misty about that because she no. does it all the time for the show park. Okay. Because all the runners. 152 Berkeley. Can you attempt to locate 27 through name? I don't have date of birth. She used to date his dad. They were uh, together for nine years. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, this is making more sense. Yeah. Um, Colby, Colby's girlfriend and him have a baby together. So we all live together. We split up. They split up. I rented the room, and I'm getting her pregnant. We split up, and I moved back home for a while. Then me and her worked things out for our son, and they got back together. We have a kid together. I'm allowed to see him because of Colby and her. And it's now drama. it's just yeah, been a bunch of drama. drama. He's been coming in out of here. I want to try breaking in here. Broke the window in the kids' room. Don't burn out. We just had the cops down my dad's house. Well, I would cut yourself off, man. I would. Yeah, I haven't talked to him in months. Like and now it just yeah. starts no, back over again. No, uh, He's in the grass. no personal. Um, yeah, I told him to come in. I would make no personal contact. I wouldn't. Sell, buy, trade, no, I, hang out, do anything no, like last that. Day I talked to him, and traded that, and I've been begging him to come get his stuff out so I can clean it out, yeah. get it legal. And now I mean, it's, I'm done with him. Not yeah. talking anymore. It's not worth it. And if you feel he's making threats for you, just let him keep making the threats. Don't respond. Okay. Because as soon as you start responding stuff like that, it takes away your leverage. All right. You have I didn't bigger, know that. You can't be the bigger person here. Yeah. Let him be a child. Yeah. Because I'm tired of coming over here every night. I'm tired of being stressed out every night. Yeah. Uh, you have any more questions, concerns? Are you going to make a report of this? So, that so there's a CAD. Every time we get a call, 
right. there's a computerized based report i ran your 27 to right. your ids sorry your ids they came back to your names i attached them so it it's going to know who I spoke with on the computerized report and all that okay. sort of stuff. Because last night, they didn't make a police report, but they were able to pro provide me with It's the, the same thing. It's the same thing I'm doing tonight. Okay. Your body cam has the cameras. So. Are you going to be able to provide me with that number later at any time? No. Okay. So you have to come down to the um, sheriff's office and you have to pay $25 for a copy of the police report. I will pay it. I will be there tomorrow. <laughs> it's probably not worth it. I just want to have the proof in case I need to go back in there for another one of these. They can check with us on histories of okay. police reports, yeah. stuff like that. Let them do the work. They can check how many times they Because they don't get charged. They do it good. They do it as a deterrent because they don't want everybody in the neighborhood coming down to the office to get a police report between you and your neighbor. These two are best friends. Okay. And Lane's the one told Colby where I live. And he didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't and tell anybody. I didn't want any problems here. Okay. And then he shows up last night and almost killed me myself. He had to, if he wouldn't have got to us as quick as he did. I was going to grab him out of the way and his mirror hit me as he went past. He, I, I would have been. I was worried about them, not me. I didn't care about me. I was worried about them. Mm -hmm. And like, there's marks out there in the road where he's spinning wheels. Yeah. I took pictures yeah. of them. Tried to have as much proof as possible. I don't have cameras yet. We're getting cameras tomorrow, so. Why not move? We just moved, we just moved in, in here. Yeah. We just moved in here. That's why our IDs haven't got changed yet. Y'all have been here for two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, We've been here three, three weeks. weeks. When they, right. How long they lived here? Um, well, when Lane goes there. back and forth between, this is girlfriend that lives up here. So he goes back and forth when they're having hard times. He goes and stays at his mom's on Perry Drive. And then- What's when, his girlfriend's name? She went to Edgeville. She's been calling me and texting me as well. Good. Randy, his daddy filed in with like that. Um, I don't know. I'm just heard him. All right, you any, you any more questions or concerns? No, sir. No, all right. I appreciate y'all coming out. Huh? All right. Thanks. Okay. I didn't know if you were still coming. No, I was. Uh. I was at the office and I had somebody to come to the title, but they didn't come to the hotel. Yep. So you coming out. Northman 137, we have our own public service now. Stand by. 152, Berkeley, 10 I 7. Copy, 152. Oh, So I just, my husband left like two hours ago to get food. I noticed the door was open. I just got home like 20 minutes ago and the door's still open. Lights are on, TV's on. We didn't go inside the house, but they have two, three dogs. So it seems we pinned up. We just found it odd. Is this their vehicle? Honestly, I have no idea. We just moved here um, a couple months ago. Probably only exchanged words a couple times. No, I might have you both say that. I'm waiting for the other deputy to get here so quick. Yeah, Storage. This should be in a couple minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's like, the floor plan like? It's going to be the opposite. Or you can just try it. Um, you can walk in. There's the living room. Go a little further. You got the dining room, the kitchen, the back door. Upstairs. Master to the left. Or I guess that's how. Mm-hmm. Um, two additional bedrooms and then a bathroom. Downstairs you have a rec room, a bathroom, and then another bedroom. Okay. How many bedrooms are upstairs? Um, mine has three. I'm guessing that there's probably about the same. Okay. Any weird nooks or crannies? Mm, there's a linen closet and like a um, washer and dryer room okay. upstairs. That's other than that. And a garage. What were they all like? White and stainless steel? Um, they're African American. Okay. Yeah. All right. You said there's dogs in the pens? Are they in the creek? Go straight across. All right. It opens up to the right. Which way? Which way I'll take right? left. This way? Yeah. All right.
Looks like somebody just didn't secure the door all the way. Yeah, that's probably what happened. 33 Berkeley, security, the Zoom traffic. Yeah, so I'm going to lock door back. Yeah. Yeah, see it's locked. Yeah. It's a somebody that pulled the door shut all the way. Yeah. Make sure you pull it back. Is it? So the main door was locked. I just think somebody didn't pull it shut all the way with the wind blowing right now. That's what it looks like. Everything looks fine. Nobody, no force entry anywhere. Okay, cool. So, all right. I wanted to double check that. Yeah. No, so if they come home and you see them, you can let them know. <laughs> Just let them know what happened. All right, guys. Thank you, you guys so much. You guys have a great night. Thanks. Thank you. Well, thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. I figured you'd be in there. Well, I mean, it was, I didn't start more than so. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know this road's name. Like, we were right there. Yeah, it's uh, new. At Valley, at Valley Ford. Yeah. Yeah, I see that by the foot traffic comment. Yeah. There may be sure to see that. COVID, I had to uh, rent out my basement, and um, and this couple times I had to call cops. Like during the last months, it's been crazy. People coming, leaving night time. And it was one guy. It just he came asking money, and then he was fighting. All the names were up actually. And then I went out, my kids went out, they scared upstairs and I locked them up and went down. And there was a guy just, I don't know what it was holding, he was trying to strict, he strict on me. He was pulling, trying to pull out. Hey, what you want, you have problems? I have, you have problems in my property. And then um, he, he broke the lights, he broke that. And then somehow he pulled something in the big package. He just grabbed it and then run away. Uh -huh. And then I call the police, hey guys, um, I need help, I don't know who is this. And then I asked him, hey guys, you guys understand you're deaf, you don't have a, uh, you know, you're not guys, you guys don't talk. And I needed the help a little bit, that's why I let, let you in here, nice, nice place, nice rounds, I have a kid, please stay safe, don't do crazy things. But it's keep continuing, you smell the cigarettes. Right? I never smoked in my life and never drink. And I have uh, two kids who's every day going to school. I mean, hybrid situation. But they're up now. They just thrown around because they didn't know who's lacking. Because they because people when come there, they come around and knock this door, and they just automatically they were sitting here. They just run out. 
um, and they brought one um, one one lady. I don't know who is she, and they start smoking. Um, well, I can't do anything about smoking cigarettes. And, and uh, do I have a right to do not let her stay in 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 um see your your rent? Right. So you got to go through court to probably. I mean, it's up to you. Do you want people that are renting down there to continue renting? No, I don't want that. They, they have a note. 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 They have a note that they have to leave. I give them thirty days. Okay. So. Yeah, you gotta go through the court system to get them evicted. You can't just, did you just write them a letter that they have 30 days to move out yeah, or what? Yeah, I, I wrote, yeah, you gotta go through the court system. So I, where you're going to, have you gone down to the courthouse? I called them this morning because okay. I kept, kept in, and the lady in the courthouse, she told me, look, actually in West Virginia, you just give it, hand them the writing, well, handwriting and give it to them. Just make sure you have a copy of that and give it to them. And then I give it to them this morning. After 30 days, you come back to court and then we're gonna give you the, the no, no notice uh, day. And then I want, I really want to show you some, um, right here. I don't know if I have a right to do not let her stay. In, I don't know who, they're just going against me so bad. This is the guy who came the other day. See, he, it's, it's, it's 427. See, uh, it, this is, this, he catching because I just installed my camera. Holy shit, but, but it's been like almost three, four months. I'm, I'm so sick right now. Like I'm feeling shit. So he did it like two days ago. You see the, the, the date. Yeah, but he's not doing anything illegal, man. Like, I don't disagree. They're probably up to doing something, but. I don't know if he's, is that, is, this is okay. I don't I really don't understand this. If this is, I don't know how to deal with this. What you think? What, what should I do? Just. I have him evicted. I'd go through the court system. Okay. You can hand him a 30 day notice and then, then what, in 30 days? He's like, you know, I'm not leaving. Yeah, mm -hmm. then what? Uh, uh, then you still gotta go through us, or through the courts, sorry, this court system. And then we come out here and evict them if they don't leave within a time frame. Okay, you guys said by the court, but. You have to have some paperwork though, right? Yeah, you, need, do yeah, you need documentation and then uh, once you get a victim, uh, get them evicted, then there's another 30 days that they have um, rights to the property, on the property, um, to retrieve all that. So, okay. I would say go to the courthouse to get the eviction process started. So I have to go to the courthouse to start it? Yeah, I would do it. Yeah, go. Yeah, go to the courthouse. So the call phone, call, uh, phone call is not going to work, right? I mean... Will they, will they... I'm old school. I got, I do things in person. I don't believe in using phones to solve problems. Hey, I just believe her. She was she was like she court clerk, something like that, and I believed her that she said just give them a handwriting note. Yeah, but think of like how many how many times you called the police in the last thirty days? A lot. Okay. A lot. It's it's been like whole house is is, is like banging. Does she know that you've called the cops in the last three? Yeah, of course she knows. knows a lot. She don't care. She's showing the fingers on the camera. No, I'm talking about he spoke to at the courthouse. I'm sure they know downstairs. Oh, they did. She told me get the report, police reports. Like she said, like if if you did like three police calls, you have to meet them immediately. Okay. That she told me. Yeah, I'd go ahead and start the eviction process. No. Yeah, don't rely on. Yeah, it's it's gonna start. I know. Don't rely on your own personal. Yeah, paper. I would I I would do Russian way. But I'm I'm in, not I'm not in Russia. If this was a different country, I would do my way. Yeah. But because I have so many things going on, business started. I don't want to mess with anything. I just want to see how the proper way to resolve this problem. That that's all. I would have done this long time ago, but I want to do the right way now. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. 
it's gonna start i know four o'clock uh, um, police is keep coming keep calling keep coming and um four o'clock the whole the house gonna be like banging dinging people coming like two three people comes and at night every night i don't know i can't sleep i can't go even work here yeah, i can't work what happened because i didn't sleep i had to call up mm -hmm. so it's, it's crazy i don't know it's i don't know where you guys can do anything i'm secure oh, no, 56 or you have any more questions? No, I don't have questions, guys. 152, 133, you can 1022. Thank you for showing up. I just didn't know what to do, what to do. Because when they do not open the door, they come and start banging this door. And that begins. And then I have to call police before cops show up, they leave. That's how all the situation. I don't know what to do. If this continue, I have to take him to the brother house probably. I'm not worried about myself. It's how you see this nice environment around here. Just build a whole house. It's just unadequate behavior. I don't know what to do. That's I keep calling. I would never call to anyone. <laughs> yeah. If I could resolve this myself, I would do it a long time ago. All right. Thank you. You guys want any drinks, anything? No, I'm good, man. I appreciate it, though. I have a tomorrow morning. I have a truck driving school road exam, and then I'm just thinking about this. I'm not thinking about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to go to PA, take a road test for truck driving school. And my head is not completely not there. My, my head is right here. Because I can't go anywhere. They're going to they're gonna come and start knocking this door. She called me a couple of times to, mm -hmm. hey, hey, wake up, wake up. We have, I don't know who's here. In case they just, if they're crazy, they don't care, they're gonna break this door. It's easy. This door is easy to break. Yeah. Well, do, you, do you have it? Do you have cameras, stuff like that on your front door? I do. I installed it. And then it starts crazy. They go start crazy, going and going crazy. They're smoking. And then now they're smoking more than like three times more, like purposely. All right. What can we do? Nothing. Will she talk to me? Uh, she can write. We, we, we discuss. Oh, uh, they're deaf. They're deaf, yeah. Yep. They, they, they just... She's been, like, in jail, and then she get out somehow. Like, her husband explained it to me something didn't do right, actually. So okay. she's, she's been in jail a couple of times. In, in the law told like, some, some of them told him, if you catch one more time to go to jail, it's going to be a long time. Uh -huh. So there's been a big problem with them. Looks like there's not only a, I had problem with them. <laughs> hmm. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate right, it. Right, that is Center County United Available for Assistance on Domestic in Progress, four five four fifty six Valley and Circle off Battery Valley Road. All right, sir. Okay. Well, Mark right, Center County United Available um, for Assistance on Domestic in Progress, four five six four fifty six Valley. Yeah. Circle. I I'm gonna recommend you know call us if you know things get physical. Here yeah, he was trying to break in the door actually uh, to the window last two days ago, and they can hear it here. Hey, should I break the window? And there was a lady. Yeah, break the window, get inside. Hmm. And then I called the police. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good reason. And then I called, and the catch me was leaving, and then he explained to officers. How long is she? How, is it just her, a female down there? Male and female. And you're running to both of them? Yes. And the lady who How came... How long they lived there? Since... Um, November, the end of November. It, and, and it's just started, what, last it, couple it weeks? Start, it started like a month or a month and a half ago. People like just going up. And um, the lady, she's a firefighter, and she texted me, Hey, um, we have really good relationship. She come here. I just to let you know there's a lot of traffic is going on nighttime. I just have a cameras and then she texted me to come what you think about this, do you know? I said, I didn't know about it. And then she catched the old people. And then and then I agree, I start thinking about something is not right. People and friends not gonna come three times a night. One seven nine. Alright. Okay, thank you. Thanks guys. Thanks for showing up at least. Um, if something gonna be crazy, 
I immediately called back, I guess. Yeah, I got you. And um, yeah, there were uh, people all, almost three times came at night time and asking money. Give me my money back. I'm going to destroy it. Actually, they, they beat him. Very funny. Hey, come in. Thank you. So, so you've got a tenant down there, a male and a female both deaf, and he's basically trying to get the eviction process started. Okay. Um, how long ago did you give him a notice? I give them today actually because yeah, uh, because because the camera catched it and then I I, I I told him a couple of times you guys have to leave have to leave and I, I watched the website it said you don't have to actually in West Virginia give just you have to let them know it's 30 days mm -hmm. anyway I called this morning to the court the and they asked me to write a letter and give it to them and then I, and then I did it today actually this morning and I still have it the copy I still have a copy with me. But that's not a big deal. It's around two, three o'clock, four o'clock. I know people will come. They're gonna bang the door. I know. They're gonna bang the door. They're gonna be banging so bad. They not don't leave. It was two nights ago. Like I told you, I had to call. They were in, just trying to get inside. Mm -hmm. And then the police, the guy, ex the guy who came actually for something, four o'clock in the morning. In the morning, they said I was just giving a ride my my friend. Well, but they're, 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 they're not going to open it if they don't have to. Well, I know it's going to happen again around 3, 4, 5 o'clock. People are going to come, bang the door. I'm going to wake up again. Mm -hmm. And then they come around and bang this door. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what to do. It's keep going. It's, 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 it's not ending like two months almost like this. Mm -hmm. And now they're doing everything purposely. Mm -hmm. uh, they keep smoking. You guys smell smoke in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells like cigarettes. Yeah, but my kids, they couldn't stay. They just wake, they up and it's running upstairs now. Um, I give them, I give them a chance. I give them, I, talk, I swear, I give them everything, whatever you guys want to feed them Russian food, what you guys like. But it's not ending now. Now it's going worse and worse. They just brought some lady in there with the mattress. And I don't know if she's going to, if she's going to stay there. So now they're kind of like subleasing with Yeah, it, there's some another lady now. Uh, they, okay, so there's yeah. a third person. Yeah, there, there's another person now. Um, and you want me to bang on the. Yeah, if she door? speaks. Can I? She speaks, yeah. Okay, she's not deaf. No, she, she, it's, 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 it's nighttime. Four, oh, four oh six. And then the broke that, that, that thing trying to get inside. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not only one, it's two, three people like this every night. Mm -hmm. Same people or different? Different people, completely different people. Mm -hmm. Some of them asking money, some of them you liar, you this and that, banging. It's, it's keep going, up. keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't know what to do with it. I don't really know. Do you advise them with the options about how to? Yeah, I told them to go to the courthouse and actually get like the proper proper eviction. Yeah, because you know he was telling me I I I don't know anything about him giving them thirty eight and then it being enforceable. He has to uh, go through the courts first. Not, we can't enforce it. I mean, right? Yeah, not so until he's gone through the would, courts. If they you give them the thirty days and they refuse to leave, we can't enforce that paper with you and him them. If you have a court order mm -hmm. with a stamp by a magistrate or a judge or something, mm -hmm. we can come in here yeah, and force yeah. them to leave. Yeah. So that's the way to do it. Okay. That's what I told him. I told him I knew if he went to the courthouse, yeah. they'll give you the paperwork. And it may take, I don't know, sometimes it can take one or 30 days. Mm -hmm. So just be prepared. I know it sucks. I know, I know. Um, is there anything you can give us to give us PC mm -hmm. to go search that place down or search the basement or smell of marijuana? Um, I don't smell. I, actually, I don't really know those things, marijuana. I don't. I don't do those things. I never done actually. I don't. Mm -hmm. But I smell cigarette. It's already. It's okay. it's it's a max for me. Even yeah. cigarette max for me. Yeah. So I'm okay, but the kids are up. Yeah. I will really worry about them actually, and I know the, the big from the beginning it's my fault, mm -hmm. but they don't understand. Even I explain them, hey, don't smoke cigarette, but they still smoking the cigarette. They're breaking my my policy actually.
-hmm. And then if they're breaking, I don't know if, if my pilots have worked with anything, if they're doing whatever they wanted to do. The other thing is if they're making loud noises for a prolonged period and I come up out here and catch them, um, I can charge them for violating um, noise like after 10, you know. Mm -hmm. They can't be making uh, loud noise and stuff like that, so. Let's say if I have a camera, I have a camera. noise complaint and I can run citations, but that's not going to get them out of here. Because that's going to help you in the courts. That's all that's going to do. Gonna show yeah. You, you, pro you always but have a problem with them. But yeah, the police officer last time, he came, and the, because they asked me, they asked me, because they, they don't talk, they asked me, they were, they were banging this door. I have a door separated downstairs and upstairs. Because I used to paint cars because I have back I, back problems. I let them come in just to make me help with the rent actually while I'm going through these things. That's the reason they are still there. Um, I was saying something. You're yeah. talking about the previous officer that came in? Yeah, yeah, previous officer, yeah. And then the guy came actually beat them. That's that's the washing machine. Yeah. Uh, the guy beat them actually. He somehow he get inside one guy, one of the with these guys, mm -hmm. get inside and start beating them, asking money back. Mm -hmm. I need money. And then my wife heard it, heard she she wake me up and said, and then they were knocking the door, turning the lights on, and they texting me, call the police. Okay, time to go downstairs. We'll see what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my house, I own it. And there was a guy. He was completely out of his mind. Striked on me, strike on them. So he broke the light, he did this. All the neighbors are up five o'clock in the morning. I'm not letting even my neighbors sleep. Mm -hmm. And then because before the police show up, he left. He took some big package, like kind of package like this. I don't know what was inside. Looks like the money, that's what he was asking probably. Mm -hmm. And then he left. This third party, they have a vehicle outside in the driveway? I they, they park on a guest parking. If there's any part, keep smoking. Yeah. yeah. But all that you can use, all right? Okay. Thank you. Where are you at here? If they, like I said, if they, if they come banging on this door or something, give us a call. We'll come out and deal with it if we can get them. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Guess that was your daughter behind the couch? She was. She was. She went back upstairs. <laughs> continue reporting the whole time so if something happens you can just pull up the camera yeah yep that way I don't uh, miss anything miss anything yeah I'll be going on. Policy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Deputy Zell. How are you? Come on. Yes, sir. How many times have you been charged with shoplifting? This will be my. Oh, well, not here. Honey, she's saying I've been caught once, but I've never been charged with it. She was caught two other times in Walmart in Hagerstown, so this is the third with us. Oh. They don't care about Maryland. Thank you. Okay, you want her to do this stuff? Just leave it here? That's all hers. Yeah, I can do Okay, so she paid for it all? Yep, everything that was not paid that the service desk already. Okay. Yep, she's good to go. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, you too. 
I don't know, man. They may just be closing. Two things, right? Probably should write you ticket, not break you ticket. You got a few items on here you don't need. All right, you just stole. Some. How about in the future, you don't buy money. Like you don't need any of that soda. Bad for you. That's food stamps. I know. It shouldn't be on food stamps, my opinion. But I don't get to dictate what's on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm, one of the reasons I'm cutting you break. All right? You probably don't got money for the citation anyway. Maybe you do, I don't know. And if I give you a citation, it just neglects you from smokes. Or, I don't know what your vice in life is. Other than shoplifting, all right? I'm gonna cut you a break, even though I think you're probably gonna shoplift in the future. But it's not worth it. You probably, you probably get away with it a few more times before you get called again. Next time, at least if you do it in our county, it'll probably be me the response. So I'm usually the one that gets stuff with shot blood teams. And I'm not going to be cool with you. All right. All right. So I'm going to rip off this ticket, give you your license back. All right. Don't do it. Don't come back to Walmart. All right. Don't shop off anywhere else. All right. I get life. I get life is hard. And you're probably going through a hard time with COVID not being having your kids watch. But still no excuse for shop All right. Because you're you're taking from somebody else. All right. There's your license. All right. Good luck. All right.